This talk is about Datamations, Animated Explanations of Data Analysis Pipelines. Before I dive into what Datamations are, let's imagine that you have a dataset about salaries. It's simple, a variable for where people work, either in academia or in industry, a variable for the highest degrees obtained, either masters or PhDs, and a variable for annual salaries. And you wrote some code and got two plots from the same dataset. But there's a problem. On the left, if we group by education degrees, masters are making more money on average. But on the right, when we break down by the data by both degree and work setting, we see a different reverse trend. You may recognize this as Simpson's paradox, where trend in data reverses when the data are grouped differently. Here, there are just a lot more masters in industry, and the industry pays more, so that it drives up the average for masters. But just by looking at the final plots without intuition about the underlying data or analysis, it's really hard to resolve this paradox or other data problems in your head, especially for lay people. Now, our proposal is to use animations to explain plots and tables, and the result is Datamations, a framework for automatic generation of animated explanations for plots and tables from analysis code. And I'll discuss two experiments that show the animations improve comprehension of Simpson's paradox we just saw. The animations can generate explanations for both plots and tables. The input to the animations is a chunk of data analysis code, and this is the plot version of the animations. The output is the animation that explains how the final plot came to be. And then this is the table version of the animation where data show up as table entries and then get grouped and summarized. So how does the animation translate from code to animation? First, we want to introduce a set of abstractions. If we look at a piece of tidyverse code written in R, we can identify the initial variable. And this data gets piped into the next data operation verb, like the group by right there. And the output will be a data variable again. And then it just alternates between the data variable and the verb. We can think of those data variables as states and the data operation verbs as the transitions between states. So for a given data analysis pipeline, data missions map each data variable to a static plot and data operation verbs as animated transitions. Here's an example. We start with the initial data variable salary and we can create a static icon array for it. Next, we have group by that just groups the data by degree variable. This is a transition, and the animation here conveys the action of grouping. Next, it's an intermediate data state, and you can see that the icons are grouped into this static image. Then we have the summarize verb. It's a transition, and the icons being collapsed into a single dot, which is the summary. And then it's the final data output, the final plot, and you string them together, it's a datamation. But do datamations actually work? How do we even define whether it works? In our experiments, the question we try to answer is this. Do datamations help people understand an instance of the Simpsons paradox? Here we have two proxies for comprehension. First question, whether the participants can acknowledge the reversal is possible. The reversal being the reverse trends in the salary data set, as shown here. And the second question asks participants to pick out the correct explanation that resolves the Simpsons paradox. We had two experiments. The first experiment was about plots. We asked the same two questions. And there are two conditions, static plots and datamations with plots. The second experiment had the same two conditions, just replaced plots with tables. In both experiments, datamations improve the accuracy in answers in most cases. We also collected qualitative participant feedback. People told us that datamations made them think more about the data and show them exactly how the charts are made. 66% of participants in the plot-based datamations experiment said that they preferred datamations over the static counterpart. Now you have it. Datamations, animated explanations of data analysis pipeline.